connecting to cloud server. Okay, for and they literally know zero chill. They are super loud today. They are all over the place. But uh, um, leaders got to lead, and we are talking about issues today because, like I always tell you guys, customer retention is the most important thing that you can do for residual income. Residual income is that income that is going to keep coming, right? You want to make sure that every single month they are going to keep ordering, and you are going to keep getting that paycheck for that order, right? So in order to make sure that that's happening, the biggest thing that you can do is make sure that you have top notch customer service. And I really wanna focus on that today. Um, customer service is like the best thing in any company, right? Like if you, if you went to a restaurant and the customer service was really, really bad, it doesn't matter how good the food was, right? Are you gonna keep going back? Or are you gonna be like, eh? That waitress was like really snooty with me. It took a while to get my food. Yeah, it tasted good, but we were there for two hours. And you know what I mean? Like if you don't leave that restaurant feeling like you had a good experience with people that were taking care of you, it's not going to matter how good the food is, right? Same thing with going to the grocery store. Besides the fact that you're at the grocery store with a ton of people and it's driving you nuts to begin with, if you get a rude cashier or you get somebody that doesn't want to be helpful, somebody that's barely speaking to you, things like that, it's going to kind of like put a damper on your trip to the grocery store, right? Customer service is super, super, super important. So you want to make sure that first and foremost, you're talking to people with kindness, right? I don't care how annoying they might be asking you the same question over and over and over and over and over, or how many times they have not listened to you with what you are saying to them about like, don't drink coffee and all of those things. You have to, you have to remain kind with them. There should never be a situation where you lose that kindness and start talking to people with an attitude or being rude to them. Um, you can obviously make the choice to not deal with a very difficult customer anymore. And that I would encourage you to do if somebody is just blatantly disrespectful and not following instructions and they're being a handful. Just pull yourself away, but don't ever be rude to them, right? The first thing that they're going to do is turn around and post on Facebook about how Thrive sucks because you were rude to them. So like, just don't do it. Maintain that kindness. Speak to people fairly. Speak to them like they are an intelligent human being that you respect and, and you want to treat them with respect and kindness, right? So on top of talking to them with kindness, you don't want to just talk to them one time. You don't want to just have that one initial conversation where you're being super helpful and friendly and you're getting them all set up with their order and you're making sure they're getting the right DFT and they're getting the shake flavor that they want and you're helping them walk through their loading the cart and checking out and all of that stuff and then you never talk to them again. Nobody is going to want to reorder from somebody that does that. So make it a priority to stay in touch with them. Become their friend. Like we, everybody could use more friends in their life, right? It, it takes very minimal effort on our part to build that relationship with our customers. Check on them outside of Thrive. Check on them inside of Thrive. Make sure that they are feeling good. Make sure that they know you are there to answer any and all questions that they have. Remember, the goal is to get them thriving for free. You're not going to be able to have them thriving for free, using you for three-way chats, trusting you to help them come up with a post, things like that. If you're not even talking to them once they've placed their order, it's on us to make sure that they know that they can come to us. So always check on them, always be kind to them, always continue building that relationship. For me, that comes in the form of my Monday customer checkup. That is an IPA that I do every single Monday. I reach out to my customers, not about Thrive. I just talk to them about what they have going on in their life. I build that relationship further. And then almost always the conversation gets turned to Thrive from them, not even from me, because they want to update me on how they're feeling or they want to ask me about a post that they saw recently, things like that. So make sure that you set aside some day or time. Guys, Make sure you set aside some day or time that you are doing your customer check-ins and just re remember kindness, build a relationship, be their friend. You also want to, especially right now, halfway through the month almost, you want to make sure that you are helping them thrive for free. You want to reach out to them and you want to let them know it's halfway through the month right now. You have one referral. If we can get one more referral, 
referral, then on March 2nd, you're going to be thriving for free. If they have zero referrals, you want to encourage them to make a post or reach out to somebody that they work with or somebody in their family, their mom, their cousin, their sister, whoever, right? You don't want them feeling like they have to do the work themselves. So make sure that they, again, they know you are there. You can do a three-way chat. You can have a phone call with their person. You can help them talk to that person about what that product is going to do, right? It doesn't do, I've had customers share my post several, several, several times because my posts are public. They see me post something about mini experiences and they're like, oh, she's selling mini experiences for cheaper. I'm going to share her post. And then I'm going to get so many people that want to have a mini experience and I'm going to have all these referrals and all this stuff. Zero times has it worked. Zero. It has not worked. It might work for other people. It might be something that's like super effective for you, but it has not worked for me at all. So I always encourage my people to let me help them make a post of their own. Like they send me a picture of them where they've lost 25 pounds. I'm like, you need to go post that picture and talk about how Thrive is making you feel. Tell your audience all of the things that you're telling me every single week, how you have this energy, how you are better able to control your cravings and your appetite, how you are feeling fabulous every single day, right? Just flip everything that they're saying to you around in a post and help them come up with that. They are terrified to post about Thrive. They don't want society to be like, oh gosh, here's another driver. Oh, look at her peddling these vitamins. They don't want to be seen as a promoter. They don't want to have that stigma over them. And I, I, I mean, that's their choice. They don't have to be a promoter, but they do want to thrive for free and it's on us to help them do that. Yes, that was Katie. Um, so make sure that you are prepared and helping them with that in a, a very active way. Not just like, hey, by the way, you should make a post. Like, yeah, that's great. Telling them that they should make a post, but you need to help them make a post. Hey, can you tell me a couple of ways that you have, that have like stood out to you about how you felt in the last two weeks? I'm going to help you make a post for us to be able to put up on your wall and get you some referrals, right? Um, also remembering to stack your customers. At this point now, I've been thriving for free since month one. I never have to worry about whether or not I'm thriving for free on both my account and Justin's account. So anytime I get a new customer, they do not get my link. They do not get my link because it's still going to count as my customer, even if they go underneath one of my other customers right? And if one of my other customers happens to flip promoter, so be it. I helped my promoter get some customers, not a big deal, right? Still helps the team, still helps me. Like it's great. So don't be scared to send out your customers links. I kind of keep a list in my um, customer notebook of who has what referrals and I can see who's posting and things like that. If I see that somebody threw up a post or if I see that somebody hasn't asked me for credits or hasn't needed any credits, I'm going to help them first to get their thrive for free, right? Because they are doing the do. They are not sitting around refusing to post. They are trying to actively get their own referrals, things like that. So I'm going to give them referrals first, right? Um, also, don't be afraid to host a promo. Even if the company is not doing a promo, which by the way, when the company does a promo, your customer should be the first people that you message, not for them to take advantage of the promo necessarily because you want them to stay on auto ship, but because you want them to get their referrals. Hey, they're doing free shipping this weekend. If we get you your two referrals, they're going to get free shipping. I can also throw in $15 in credit. So they're going to be saving even more money. That's super simple to do. It's a nice encouragement for them to go forth and get their referrals, right? But also don't be afraid to host your own promo for your customers, right? We've had a lot of success with people giving away mini experiences to those who order. Like, so I think Sue Ellen did it actually. She gave too many experiences to people who ordered so that they could give it to their, their referrals, right? So sometimes that's all it takes. Give away some three three-day mini experiences for free to your people who are ordering and help them get their referrals. Host a promo where you're giving away credits to the first three people that sign up, whatever. So then message your current customers. Anytime you host a promo like that, message them or tag them in your post and let them know this counts for your referrals. Let's get you thriving for free. People who thrive for free are going to keep thriving. So that should be your focus always. Be kind to them, be helpful for them, get them thriving for free.
If you practice amazing customer service from day one, you're going to have amazing success with your customer retention. I promise you that much. And then you're only going to be setting yourself up for even more success. Whenever you do hit 40 K you have your two 12 K promoters underneath you. Boom. You have 25 returning auto ship customers every single month. And you never have to sweat whether or not you're going to get that double auto bonus. Does anybody have any questions? or any ideas of their own that they want to offer up for customer retention? I have a question. My bad. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> uh, every time I try to message them personally about like, just trying to create a personal connection with them, they usually don't respond. But when I try to message them about Thrive, they'll respond then, but then it's hard to keep a conversation with them. Yeah. Are these like, people that you know personally or are they people that you didn't know that you added from groups and they see your stuff? Yeah, that I didn't know. And they, they started a conversation with me initially about it. And then I would try to follow up with them. <clears throat> and they never respond with the follow-ups that aren't involving Thrive. Are you doing like the RCM method whenever you're doing the messages to them, like reacting to two of their posts, commenting on their posts and messaging them? Yes. Yes. I don't know. I, that That's super, super weird to me. My people don't do that. They comment on my stories and I comment on their stories and we, you know what I mean? Like we chit chat and stuff. I would just encourage you to keep trying. And if they don't respond to you, you've done the best that you can do. You know what I mean? You don't ever want them to be able to have that ammo of saying like, oh, my promoter never reaches out to me. Okay. So even if they're not responding, I would, I would just keep trying. You're doing the right thing. You're being a good person and trying to build that relationship with them. Okay. Does anybody else have any questions? Nope. Okay. I love you guys and I hope that you have a great week and I hope that we all get multiple new customers and we get people thriving for free. Okay. Love you guys. Have a good day. You are very welcome. Thank you.